royal Dutch shell is one of the main contributors to the global climate crisis. Since 1985, Shell has been the ninth biggest polluter in the world, putting out over 31 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Even though we know very well that greenhouse gas emissions have pernicious effects on the atmosphere, companies like Shell continue to destroy and exploit for capital. We hear about government inaction every day in terms of climate justice, in injustice and climate violence. There is nothing inactive about this. There's nothing inactive about fast-tracking six new gas and oil fields. And there is nothing inactive about what the Global North has been doing for the last 400 years. And especially since we knew about what was happening with global warming and since the 80s. So in response to that, we can't be inactive either. And we have to start talking about government inaction. This is climate violence, so call it what it is. If you don't need to limit your poverty, or wait for a revolution in technology. The technology to make your homes green, renewable, and happier already exists. This isn't anything to do with energy security, it never has been. It's about Shell wanting the money line to go up at the expense of the planet. What we really need right now is to be investing in energy efficiency and in a just transition away from fossil fuels. In countries like the UK, um, onshore wind energy, for example, is four times cheaper than gas-powered electricity. Um, and so we have an opportunity to not only address the climate crisis, which is huge, clearly, um, but also in countries like the UK and indeed across Europe, we have an opportunity to address the other major crisis we're facing at the moment, which is energy affordability. I mean, these are cheaper, cleaner fuels and governments should be doing everything in their power to shift away from fossil fuels and to take full advantage of the clean energy resources that we have in abundance in countries like the UK. We will stop Jackdaw, we will stop Campbell, we will stop Abigail, we will stop every single new fossil fuel project that the UK government tries to push through because we have to. We do not have a choice. We can stop so much suffering. We still have a chance to stop so much suffering. The IPCC last week released a report saying that our window for action is closing, but what they did not say was that all is lost. So please, I believe that we will win! 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 I believe